Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we shall see how to estimate the autocovariance function based on a time series data set. So we will start by taking a look at what happens in case we have a multivariate data set. So, so pretend we have a multivariate data set with m samples and n variables. Note that n is the number of variables and not the sample size, right? So this is the first sample, second sample, and so on till the mth sample. And suppose you want to find the covariance between the first two variables, that is covariance based on these. And so the first and the second columns have the uh, data on the first two variables. So what do we do? Uh, we look at the sample covariance, right? Uh, so sample covariance is given by this formula. So this is the mean of the first variable, mean of the second variable, divided by the number of data points, which is m. We could also do m minus 1, okay? So what do we do for a time series data set? Suppose we have time series that's observed at n points. This is the n points. And uh, say we want to find the autocovariance between y1 and y3. How do we do that? We don't have multiple samples like we did for the multivariate data case, right? So what can we do? So just like uh, we did when we want to calculate mean, we are going to make an assumption of stationarity. So stationarity is going to come to our rescue here. So now I'm going to pretend that I have a stationary time series at n points, okay? And now how do we find gamma 2? So gamma 2 is basically autocovariance function with lag 2. So because of stationarity, we focus only on lags, right? So these are the end uh, observations. Let's pick out all the points that are at the distance 2 from each other. Y1, Y3, Y2, Y4, Y3, Y5 and so on. If you keep on continuing, the last pair will be Yn minus 2 and Yn. Okay. Because of stationarity, the covariance between all of these pairs of points is exactly the same. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to rewrite the points, right? So y1, y3 is the first pair and these are the rest of the pairs. And now I'm going to pretend like this is a multivariate data set, right? Where I have n minus 2 observations on two variables, okay? Again, this is not a multivariate data set or the, the typical multivariate data set because all of these are not independent or identically distributed. But they do have the same covariance structure, okay? And now we are going to use the sample covariance uh, based on these points to propose the estimate for this guy. So uh, what do I mean? So the sample autocovariance function is defined in this way. Okay, so for a general lag edge. So in the previous slide, we had lag 2. But, you know, we have to give a definition. So this is a general lag edge. This had to know the estimate. This is the covariance if you look at this formula, right? So the uh, important thing to note is that these two points are um, edge time, are edge distance apart from each other. So the lag between this and this is edge. It, you can also rewrite it this way. Again, the lag between this points and these points is edge. So what are we doing? We're pulling together all the time points, all the pairs that are edge distance away from each other, and we're taking their sample covariance. So this is uh, the estimate for gamma hat h or the autocovariance function with lag h. So we're going to tweak this just a little bit. So instead of dividing by n minus h, we're going to divide it by n because uh, this results in some nicer properties uh, for this covariance uh, function, okay? So the nice property is that it gives us a positive definite estimator. So we don't need to worry about this, but just remember that we're dividing by n. Another thing to note is that gamma hat h is the same as gamma hat minus h. So it doesn't matter if the first point is bigger than the second one or smaller than the second one. The only th th thing is the distance uh, between them. Okay. And the lag, of course, goes from 0 to n minus 1. So this is the definition of the autocovariance function. So once we have this, then we are ready to define the uh, sample autocorrelation function. So as you can guess, you just 
uh, sample uh, autocorrelation is sample autocovariance divided by the standard deviation. And remember, h is equal to zero gives you the uh, variance or the standard deviation. Um, so this is all for uh, this video. In the next uh, video, we shall take a look at some specific examples uh, related to this. So uh, see ya.